Cartavius Bigsby, a.k.a. Tank Bigsby, was the number seven recruit in the state of Georgia and one of the top running backs in the nation coming out of high school. Bigsby stormed onto the scene at the University of Auburn in 2020, and he ran for 834 yards and averaged six yards per carry. That landed him freshman of the year or newcomer of the year in the SEC. Bigsby, in his sophomore year at Auburn, rushed for over 1,000 yards, averaged almost five yards per carry, and had double-digit touchdowns. And Bigsby is entering in his junior year, and he's added more weight. He's up almost 10 pounds from his freshman year. So he's been putting in that work, you know, to become a better running back, to become stronger. Does that reflect on film? We'll we'll talk about that today. We're going to dive into some tape from the second team all SEC running back. We're going to look at his freshman season. Tank's game is fun to watch because of his explosiveness. But it's also incredibly frustrating because he makes the easy things look difficult. Okay, so we're going to look at this first play here. This is against uh, Penn State. Uh, and this play here, um, it's it's a Tank Bigsby run, but um, it's going to encapsulate everything that I said uh, about his game being frustrating, right? So uh, what we're going to have here is we're going to have the five offensive linemen. We're going to have a tight end or an H-back, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they're, they're into block, right? And, you know, so they go for a cut block. Uh, and... Obviously, it looks like there is going to be a blitzing linebacker coming down to tackle Tank Bigsby for a loss, right? Well, no. So the center actually gets to the second level to get hands on this particular defender, right? Now, as we run the play here, there's a lane, right? We'll run it back. And I want you to see the lane develop. So there's a lane right there, right? That's where this run should go. That's where this run should flow to. And that's how the blocking scheme set it up to flow through this particular gap here. And this is the frustrating part about Tink Bixby's game, right? Sometimes he's, he, he believes that I'm fast enough to get to the edge and I can outrun all these defenders. And so instead of taking this and going straight to the end zone, he ignores the hole completely and bounces outside. And it's a two to three yard gain that encapsulates his game that isn't the only time this has happened on 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 these um on these clips we're going to watch we're going to look at another clip right here the to the alabama game here uh in his freshman season here and there's tank bigsby he he's running outside uh so we're just gonna uh wait for we get wait to get to the end zone angle um so again look at the formation they love to run out of it. it. It's for whatever reason, that's what they do. Um, so you got your five offensive linemen, of course. You know, your, uh, your three down linemen and your, um, you know, your rusher on the edge here on the defensive side of the ball. So Tank's going to take the handoff, right? And take a guess on where he goes here. There's a hole here. There's a hole here. There's a hole here. Just take a guess. If you guessed any of these, you're wrong. There are wide open holes, massive lanes through every single gap on this offensive line. And he plants his foot and he goes outside consistently. This is what he does. You see the athleticism? We saw it on the play just before this one. If you hit the gap, just go straight ahead. There are more yards right in front of you. This east to west thing, it doesn't, it's not going to work. And if you're not able to outrun guys like Christian Harris and Patrick Sertan when they were at when they were at at Alabama, you're not going to be able to outrun these middle linebackers that you're going to see in the National Football League. This is what he is, and it's frustrating because I want to like him. I want to say that he's going to be a great player, 
but I see things like this and I and I I, I think Lake Sistrunk. And if you know who Lake Sistrunk is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think Lake Sistrunk, where there's a hole there and he bounces outside or he goes the wrong way. And it's I think at times he I think he tries to be too smart and too cocky and too confident. And he believes that he can just get to the edge every time. And your success is here. That's your that's your bread and butter. Your your success is predicated on what these five men do right here. And if these five men are blocking like this consistently, you should be eating consistently. Gap, gap, gap. And he bounces outside. Now, this isn't a let's drag Tink Bigsby through the mud video, but it's to highlight some of his deficiencies. But don't worry. I have some positives. We're going to look at those right now. All right, so this play here, um, it is going to be another um, east to west play, um, you know, where he is going to bounce outside. Um, so he's motioned back in from the receiver position uh, back back inside to, you know, to the running back position. Uh, this plays a positive um, because I think it highlights the reason why Tank is this way, right? Uh, so we're going to look at this play here in particular. So they're going to run. They're going to pull, um, you know, the, the the tight end and the tackle here. And what what you hope for is you hope that that tight end climbs to the second level. Right. So the way this play is supposed to work, I am one thousand percent sure. Right. That's how confident I am that I know how this play is supposed to work. So they pull right this this tight end or H back here. It's his job to seal here, to get to the second level, to seal. And what this does is this allows Tank to go through here. This plays a positive because Tank was on the way to make the right read. The problem is no one else made the right read. There are three people here blocking two defenders. Someone's not doing their job, and there's a there's a clean defender here. So Tank has no choice but to bounce outside. The running back position is one of the most volatile positions because the success of that particular position is predicated on the success of another position. If the offensive lineman and the tight ends cannot block or they miss their block, the run doesn't work. So it's a positive because Tank is in the process of making the proper read. No one else is. This this tight end here isn't. You get to the second level, crease this off. You have a blocker here and a blocker here. He's left one-on-one -on -one with the safety. I, I trust Tank in that situation. And I think uh, for Auburn, one of, one of the reasons Tank, although Tank rushed for 1,000 yards and had a really good season, I think they left a lot of meat on the bone. Uh, because the offensive line just was not very good. Um, but we're going to look at another positive. There's one more positive I want to talk about um, and what I want to see more of going into this season uh, and going really going into his NFL career, um, you know, after the season. Something he did in the game that really stood out, something we're going to talk about. So as I mentioned, we're going to look at a positive here. Um, it's not a touchdown. It's not a big play or anything like that. But it gives me hope, right? Um, where I think a lot of tanks uh, or tanks deficiency with going east to west um, instead of north south, I think the east to west thing really came from him having a bad offensive line, right? And just I have to bounce it outside because I know them offensive line's not going to hold this block. I think that's where a lot of his his uh, issues that I have with him come from. So that's coaching. That's offensive line coaching. As I said, this is a position that's predicated on the success of another position. Right. That's what the running back position is. That's why people don't really pay running backs in the NFL, because your success is dictated by other people. Um, but in Tank's instance here on this on this positive play here, they're going to be out of shotgun. And this is what I want to see from Tank. You know, when he gets to the pros and things like that, you have to get skinny. Not weight wise, but. You have to be able to slip through through these holes. You have to be able to have good contact balance. You have to be able to do what he's going to do on this particular play right here. 
So he's going to take the handoff. So uh, first, we're going to look at the offensive line for a second. So have a five lineman. Center snaps the ball. Center's going to prepare to go to the second level, right? Guard's doing a very good job here of, uh, you know, trying to seal this off, whatever. But he's getting pushed back. He's getting pushed back all game uh, here in this Penn State game. So what Tank does is, um, you know, I, I want to – I know it's easy to criticize him for missing this hole, but I just think with the at the rate of speed he was going, I think it's impossible to hit this hole and not tear your ACL. So um, don't 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 do that. Just maybe hit this one, even though there's a defender there. But what he does is he gets really skinny because he notices his guard is getting pushed back into his lap. So what he does is he gets low, good contact balance, braces, wiggles around. Keeps the speed up. He's almost diagonal with the ground. I love this play. He gets up, comes through, boom, full speed. Like like nothing ever happened. Just he was almost on the ground. Wiggles through, gets skinny, hits the hole. Now, of course, they don't hold the block long enough, obviously, and he gets tackled. But this is a perfect play. This is, this is what you have to do. You have to be able to get skinny if you can make these easy things look easy you'll be successful but in these first two seasons at the university of auburn it's very inconsistent for me in my opinion but plays like this give me hope it lets me know that tank's a very good player it's a coaching thing you can coach up the right hole. You can do that. You can't coach up his athleticism and his ability and his speed, right? You can coach up patience. So if you're a Tank Bigsby fan or an Auburn fan, I hope you didn't take this video as me slandering him. But I hope you saw some of the issues that he has with his game. But the good news is they're all very fixable issues so this is the first episode of our uh 2023 draft film uh breakdown i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it um the running back position um is incredible for the class coming up uh it's just a lot of a lot of good players uh, of course b john robinson you know muhammad ibrahim out of minnesota uh, just a lot of good players that we're gonna uh eventually get to and break down but tank bigsby was the lucky one to be the um the the first one here because i love his game i just think he has some issues that are very fixable so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well i appreciate that as we continue to try to grow the channel and these videos so hope you guys enjoyed it share it with a friend tell someone about uh it's me jace and don't forget that underscore i appreciate it